Hey Niagara fans, this is Courtney Corbetta for PurpleEagles.com Game of the Week. I am here at Blue Cross Arena in downtown Rochester, recapping the Niagara men's hockey game against the Robert Morris Colonials. After defeating the Air Force Falcons two games to one in the AHA quarterfinals, Niagara advanced to the semifinal round looking for a victory against the Colonials. The Purple Eagles lost to Robert Morris by a score of 5-4 in overtime. Although Niagara outshot Robert Morris 18-12 in the opening period, the Colonials were the first to find the back of the net 2 minutes 56 seconds into the first period. Returning to the ice in the second, Purple Eagle Hugo Turcotte scored by a rebound beating the Colonial goaltender. Six minutes later, Robert Morris regained the lead, ending the second by a score of 2-1. In the third period, the Perps tied the game with a goal by freshman Steven Petrobin, making it his seventh of the year. Robert Morris later answered Niagara's goal with two straight of their own, making the score 4-2. It didn't look good for the Purple Eagles, but Niagara came back, scoring two consecutive goals, tying the game and sending the two teams into overtime. Unfortunately, the Perps were unable to find the back of the net, losing to Robert Morris and ending their season in heartbreaking fashion. Head coach Dave Burkholder comments on the game. Yeah, that was a heck of a game. I thought uh, both teams left it on the ice and Sometimes they're never pretty in overtime. It just a fluky bounce went off uh, one of our players' helmets in front of that and ended up on the tape of a guy wearing a white jersey. So what are you going to do? It's, we, we certainly left everything we had um, on the ice. I think we had, uh, again, six, six points from our freshman class once this is cleaned up. Um, yeah, that's pretty darn good in a, in a pressure cooker like this. You know? Uh, you know what, hindsight, it's a big deal to get here. And you know what, we have... Uh, as much as I hate saying goodbye to these guys, they've done, they've left the program in a better spot than when they came in. But um, you know, there's, there's a lot of young kids that gained some experience for us, and that'll make us better next year. Reporting from Blue Cross Arena in downtown Rochester, this is Courtney Corbetta for PurpleEagles.com.